jumping in the Emerald Isle. The ancient town of Carnarvon, with its famous 13th century castle, was the scene of an early engagement for the Queen during her two days in North Wales. Lord Snowdon, carrying out his first official duty as constable of the castle, surrendered the heavy key of the fortress to Her Majesty. From this link with the past to a link with the future, the North Wales Outward Bound School. What better place than the beautiful, rugged countryside of North Wales for the open air training on which this movement is based? For the Queen and Prince Philip, it was a rapid tour and a varied one too. Another highlight was the inauguration of the Festiniog hydroelectric scheme built for the Central Electricity Generating Board. The board's chairman, Sir Christopher Hinton, talking to Her Majesty and Prince Philip. This station, together with an atomic power station also being built nearby, will provide an important contribution to the nation's growing demand for power. This is one of the largest pump storage schemes in the world and incorporates all the latest automation techniques. During the night, when demand for power is comparatively low, electricity is used to pump water into an upper reservoir. During the day, when demand is high, it flows back through the turbines producing 320,000 kilowatts. But not all the energy in North Wales comes from hydroelectric projects. A lot of it emanates from Billy Butlin, who welcomes the Queen to his local holiday camp. It was quite a day for the campers and the staff who work so hard to make holidays go with a swing. They'll be frying tonight, but for the moment they took time off to welcome their royal visitors. And the Queen obviously caught the infectious holiday camp spirit. One of the warmest of a wealth of welcomes they'd received during their two days in Wales. A new way to beat the...